Republican and to the great English hub. We thought well done so much that when we had our England for Excellence Awards, we gave the outstanding contribution to English tourism to the English pub this year. So that's how we rate the English pub. Now, when I think of you and me, what is it that actually defines the specialness of a place? It is actually it being part of the village, the town, the city that it's in. You get a real sense of place, and the English pub so very often does just that. And we have many great partnerships, but we know that the one with the publican will be a great success, and we hope it will have a long life, and we look forward to working with you to make sure that our visitors and Amanda's about to say a few words about our most recent marketing campaign, actually appreciate the great range of English pubs and the huge opportunities, dare I say, for employment in this country through English pubs, through the hospitality sector in general, that are there to be taken. We need to ensure, ensure that there is value for money, that the standards are high and people have a great time. I was talking just now with one of you and we were talking about how this is our great opportunity this summer. So many people are saying to holiday in this country is fashionable, they're considering doing it. More people than ever before have said they're going to take their holidays in this country. We must ensure collectively they have a fantastic time and I know that every journalist whilst you are often characterised as being cynical, and indeed my other half is in part a journalist, are actually very much, by turning out tonight, coming to support and be positive. Well, where did David watch the game last night? In a pub. You range across a whole host of different interests. So without further ado, can I pass on to Amanda Smith, Director of Marketing. To, to add my thanks to everybody here this evening for coming out and helping us celebrate the launch of this Our In England campaign. And we just had the most uh, incredible moment, it's a terrible word, but synchronicity um, earlier this year when we were tossing around how could we follow all of the topical campaigns that Enjoy England has launched over the past couple of years. You've been here to help us celebrate some of the greatest English icons that make England such a marvellous destination to visit and to explore. So from our wonderful music with England Rocks to comedy with Comedy England last year, how could we top it? But then when we realised that this great institution, the English pub, was going to win the Outstanding Contribution to Tourism Award, it was easy. We really have to celebrate with this campaign the English pub and the contribution that it makes to visitors and to us all when we're exploring England. We know that it is the most fantastic way to get a sense of place, as Penny was saying. So pubs are not just places to sample local ale, local beers, to sample amazing local food, although they are, of course, and we hope that you'll, you'll sample some this evening, but they are places to get under the skin of the destination and really find out more and some of the inside secrets of what to do in the area. So we really want to celebrate that and our partnership with The Publican is a great way of doing that. We've worked with The Publican to pull together a website which launched today, inengland.com, I-N-N. Um, and on that website, visitors can We've uploaded hundreds of great pubs, which are fantastic examples that visitors can visit and search for pubs to suit all of their tastes and to help them really plan a day out or a weekend break, uh, including a pub in their itinerary. So from pubs that are great for food, pubs that are particularly family friendly, pubs with great scenic views or interesting history or interesting landlords, you can search for them all on the website. And we're really encouraging the public to get involved, get behind the campaign, log on and add their local favourites or favourites that they've found as they've been exploring England and tell us what's special about them so that we can really help spread the word and celebrate the pub. Um, the death of the English pub. Um, there's been an awful lot of nonsense written in the past couple of years about the death of the pub and this dying industry. Um, and anybody that knows this industry knows that that isn't true. We're all here and everyone here 
knows somebody that knows somebody that's out there at the moment uh, having a great time in a pub. Uh, pubs are challenged at the moment, certainly by a number of different factors. But pubs are at the heart of a, an industry which is developing and transforming itself. And actually the fact that uh, Enjoy England and Visit England uh, are getting behind pubs in such a tremendous way is a real validation for this industry as it goes forward and as it continues to develop. Now on behalf of the, the publican, I'd like to say you know, we're absolutely delighted to be part of this campaign uh, within England. Uh, and it's, uh, it's great for us to be working with you in terms of pinpointing some of the best pubs in the country and giving some practical support to the campaign around the pub industry. Uh, but also working on in England is a great extension to what we try and do with our own campaign, Proud of Pubs. Proud of Pubs, it, it's a very simple message that we've been promoting for, for four years now across the trade and, uh, and out to consumers. The pubs are something which, uh, which really must be cherished and promoted as much as we can, both within the trade and outside. Uh, and we do lots of activity around Proud of Pubs. We've got our own Proud of Pubs week of activity coming up in July. Uh, and we're very pleased that this year we're actually uh, promoting our own beer, Proud of Pub's Best Bitter, uh, which we brewed with, uh, with Neil Morrissey and Richard Fox. Uh, now, I was up recently at the awards in York, which was a tremendous night, and uh, really enjoyed that, and uh, really uh, enjoyed the fact that the pub received this, uh, this award for the outstanding contribution to English tourism. <laughs> Uh, and Neil Morrissey picked it up on the night. So unfortunately, Neil can't be here this evening. Um, but he did have a fantastic idea for what we can do with this award as we go forward. Uh, what we're going to do with the, uh, the award for the outstanding contribution to English tourism is tour it around as many pubs as we can over the next year. Uh, it's a kind of Olympic relay type thing. Uh, we're going to hand it on from pub to pub. But on the public, and we invited our own readers under the Proud of Pubs campaign to tell us why they were proud of their pub and why they should uh, host the award for a week. Uh, and we've got a great roster of pubs which are going to receive the award. Uh, tonight marks the occasion of uh, the first recipient of the Outstanding Contribution to English Tourism Award. Uh, and we thought it would be very appropriate to hand it over to the distillers this evening to, uh, to hold on to the award for the first week. Uh, and Scott, um, where, there you are, very good. Um, Scott's going to take the award this evening. Um, and I think the distillers, um, I, mean, I must confess, it's the first time I've been here tonight, but um, you know, having looked around and had a, had a good chat with Scott, you know, I think it's a tremendous example of uh, you know, how modern pubs are really uh, you know, taking forward the, the traditional pub and reinventing them and, um, you know, with great success. So uh, many congratulations to Scott, and do you take the award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much for your